government stats for those over 55 is 14% uh, unemployment. So there's not many of you with gray hair, but uh, there's a good chance that it's going to take a long time to find a job. And uh, those of us over 55 are easily discouraged. So what do you do? Well, a great number of people over 55 decide to go into business for themselves. And what they do is wake up in the morning and decide, you know, am I, I going to savor the world or am I going to save it? Uh, my choice, I think I did both, but uh, uh, you've got to reinvent yourself. I had a sales, marketing, um, advertising background. So I, I realized, you know, there's probably not a too good a chance that I'm going to get back into it. The other thing is network. Um, very important. So here's my stand. I'm in the shadow. My neighbor, who helps me out every once in a while, is uh, in the sunlight. But uh, I grew my hair longer. I wear my cap backwards. So I think I kind of reinvented myself. <laughs> uh, a good friend of mine said, uh, you know, do what you love. And, uh, you know, you can do that when you get a little bit older. You know, um, there, there's still obligations, but, you know, you can take a little chance and, uh, you know, do, do those things that uh, make you feel good. Uh, you know, and what gets you up in the morning? Are you excited to get up? Are you heading to a job that you like or, you know, something else? So on the reinvent and renew, I mean, I spent, Jerry would say, much too much time. But I spent probably eight hours a day for a good month going uh, on the web, looking up hot dogs, looking up every aspect I could think of of hot dogs and things like that. Take classes. Well, if you're going to get in the hot dog business, you have to get a food management certification. And I thought it was pretty edgy of me to do it online. Uh, so I did that, uh, passed the, uh, the test. You know, you need to develop a business plan, something that you can go back to and look at, even for a simple thing like uh, putting a hot dog together. Um, you've got to have that business plan. Uh, and as Kurt pointed out, you better have an idea of uh, how to develop a cash flow uh, idea. And again, uh, just because we're old doesn't mean we can't learn how to use a computer. So, you know, one of the things I did was uh, try to brush up on my skills. Now, this isn't as good <laughs> as Steve's slide or Jerry's slide, but it kind of points uh, to one thing. Uh, uh, let's say I was that middle number one, and I had this idea, and I talked to uh, my uh, niece's dance teacher, who had opened a studio, who in turn said, well, Swift was a real big help. So I got in contact with uh, Swift, from there, um, they pointed me in a couple directions and mentioned Steve, who gave me the idea of uh, Twittering our location every day. Um, and also putting it on Facebook, mentioning any specials we might have. And uh, our, one of our marketing goals was to have uh, 200 followers, you know, with the combination of Twitter and Facebook and uh, that, and we exceeded that. Um, so networking is extremely important. Uh, the people that over at SWIFT can help you, I mean, I started my plan figuring, you know, on the internet you can buy a hot dog cart for $2,100. However, then the state of Minnesota had their say and uh, it came out to about 10000 more than that just for the cart. So Swift came in, uh, helped me with the business plan, helped me uh, figure out financing, and 
uh, got me into business. So if you know anybody over 55 that has a dream and maybe feeling a little lonely, that one slide Jerry had where the guy was just standing out there alone uh, and wants to talk to someone, you can talk to me. Thanks.